Alright hey guys, thank you for checking out this video tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to create a free blog using 00webpost.com and wordpress.org. So first thing you want to do is come to 00webpost.com and click sign up on the right hand side. Um, fill in all your information here, all your stuff, and click create my account. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to log in. Uh, from inside here, your account should be listed. Um, I'm just going to do this one on replay.com because I already have a blog on there, so this will be easy. Uh, come down into the files menu type thing, click uh, FTP details. This is all your FTP so that you can log on using an FTP client such as Smart FTP or FileZilla. Go ahead and download either Smart FTP or FileZilla. I already have FileZilla. So as soon as you download it, go ahead and open it. Um, go back to the FTP details and copy and paste all the information that you have here into the quick connect at the top. Uh, it saves it automatically so I'm just going to click it like that. As soon as you quick, click quick connect it will automatically log into the server. So from here you can see a folder and a couple of files. Uh, don't upload any files here because that's what it says and it won't work. So go into public underscore HTML. Inside here, I'm going to make a new folder. Uh, let's call it um, comp hacks FYI. Can't even type my own name. Click OK. And this is where my form, my blog will be. So what we must do now is open a new tab go to wordpress.org make sure you don't go to .com because .com and .org are two completely different things so go ahead and come to wordpress.org click download wordpress 2.7.1 and again download again and click save file as soon as it downloads just go ahead and download it go away So now that I have it downloaded, go ahead and extract it. As soon as you have it extracted, you should get a folder called WordPress, blah, 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 blah. Inside there should be another folder, WordPress. And here are all your files. So now go back to the FTP client, and in the side over here, go ahead and go to Desktop. Look for the folder that you extracted to inside the WordPress. And now press Control-A and drag that into your directory that you have. So now it is uploading all 602 files, I think it was. Yeah, this could take some while, could take a while, so I'm just going to pause it and I will resume as soon as everything's done. Now that all the files are inside my compact FOI directory, you can see them all here. Um, before we start doing anything with the blog, we have to um, change the where is it? Config file. So go ahead and find wp dash config dash sample. Right click on it and go view edit. Um, if yours does not open or it gives you an error, go ahead and into the options and change your default. Um, it'll ask you for what program you want to open it with and choose Dreamweaver, Notepad, or whatever. Mine's Dreamweaver. So that Dreamweaver opens up. If you would like to download Dreamweaver CS4, go to clanstd.net slash forums, and everything is in the forums there. Go ahead and register and all that. I'm pretty sure every CS4 program is in the forums, so go ahead and check them out. So um, now that we have got the sample config file open, all we have to do is make a database using SQL. So go ahead and go back to 00 web host members area. Go to my your account that you have your domain. Scroll down until you find my SQL underneath software and services. Right here type in whatever you want the database name to be. I'm just gonna make it uh, blog. So I already have one blog. 
So um, blog two, username Fozzy two, uh, password for SQL. Let me type in. and create database so now it has given me all the information that I need to do so we go copy, well, copy and paste the host name come back to Dreamweaver and where's the host we change this to that go back database name is this copy um, database name is right here go back username and the password from there scroll down and copy and paste this link into the uh, your browser and it'll give you it'll generate these keys um, so just copy this entire thing back to Dreamweaver and replace all of this with that so um, that link will also be in the sidebar, the api.wordpress.org slash secret key slash 1.1. Um, that will be in the description if you don't feel like copying and pasting, you just click it or whatever. Um, so from there, click File, Save, As, File, Save, As, and remove dash sample from it. So it's just wp-config.php. Make sure you save it somewhere you know. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. Update links, yes and we can go back to our FTP client uh, go to desktop or wherever you saved that file and drag it into your directory where your blog is alright so now it's in there we can go ahead and now go to your domain that you have which is mine is slash compacts FYI blog I want it to be is compacts FYI. My email is files at ten oh fourteen at gmail. Oops. And allow blog sure. Oh whatever. Install WordPress. Now oh it's already installed. What? Okay, so now um it installs and as soon as it's done it'll give you the username admin and some weird password with lots of characters and all that so um, go ahead and click log in uh, username is case sensitive so make sure you type it as admin with no capitals and click log in so from here this is the blog um, admin uh, control panel and this here where you add new posts and all that users add new you can edit your profile you can install different plugins go down to appearance and click on themes you can download themes from their website they have a thing and you can search them all and um, you just open up your FTP client, go into themes slash um, what is it here? Let me open up FileZilla. You can go into WP content, themes, and then you would upload the folder here and it would automatically show up in this list and you could select it. Like I could select this one and I'll say activate WordPress Classic. and now that is the theme that I'm using. You can also edit all the pages with HTML or like the CSS style sheet. You can edit all that. Uh, you can come down to settings and edit whatever you want the, the tagline to be. I don't know. Anyone can register, yeah. And all that save changes. So now this, if I refresh this, should be to that other skin. There it is. There, pages about site admin and all that. So, um, thanks for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>